Welcome to Today in Nerd History. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Too Short a Season, aired February 6, 1988. In this episode, the Enterprise transports an elderly Starfleet Admiral to negotiate a hostage crisis. When the Admiral takes a de-aging drug, he endangers both his life and the mission. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode of Face of the Enemy aired February 6, 1993. In this episode, Deanna awakes to find herself altered to look like a Romulan, immediately unaware she's involved in a cat and mouse game as a member of an intelligence agency. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Whispers, aired February 6, 1994. In this episode, Chief O'Brien's world is turned upside down when, as far as he can tell, for no reason whatsoever, he is being ignored by his family and friends and is being closed out of every essential job on the station. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Heart of Stone, aired February 6, 1995. In this episode, after chasing a fugitive into a cave, Kira gets stuck and is slowly encapsulated by a growing crystal stone while Odo tries to figure out how to free her. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Phage, aired February 6, 1995. In this episode, while seeking a power source for the ship, the crew encounters a planet of people who steal body organs to fight a deadly disease. The Star Trek Enterprise episode, Shadows of Pajim, aired February 6, 2002. In this episode, T'Pol is ordered home, but during her last Starfleet mission, she and Archer are kidnapped by an alien planet's militant faction and placed at the mercy of the Andorians. American Dad first aired February 6, 2005. This series involves the random escapades of Stan Smith, a conservative CIA agent dealing with family, life, and keeping America safe, all in the most absurd way possible. The Star Trek Picard episode, The End is the Beginning, was released February 6, 2020. In this episode, completely unaware of her special nature, Soji continues her work and captures the attention of the Borg Cube Research Project's executive director, and Picard seeks others willing to join his search for Bruce Maddox. Remembering Ronald Reagan, born February 6, 1911, and passed away June 5, 2004. Ronald Wilson Reagan was an American politician who served as the 40th President of the United States from 1981 to 1989. Prior to his presidency, he was a Hollywood actor and union leader before serving as the 33rd Governor of California from 1967 to 1975. Remembering Patrick McNee, born February 6, 1922, and passed away June 25, 2015. He was an English actor who was probably best known for his role as the secret agent John Steed in the series The Avengers. His other significant roles have included playing Sir Godfrey Tibbet opposite Roger Moore in the James Bond film a View to a Kill. 
Major Crossley in The Sea Wolves, and guest roles in Encounter, Alias Smith and Jones, Heart to Heart, Murder She Wrote, Battlestar Galactica, and The Love Boat. He was also in the Twilight Zone episode Judgment Night. Though he found fame as the heroic steed, the majority of his guest appearances have been in villainous roles. His involvement with Battlestar Galactica typified these roles. In addition to narrating the opening titles, he provided the voices of two consecutive imperious leaders of the Cylon Alliance and in War of the Gods Parts 1 and 2, he also appeared on camera as Count Ibley, who was seemingly a savior. He also presented the paranormal series Mysteries, Magic, and Miracles. He made a guest appearance on Columbo in the episode Troubled Waters and played Major Vickers in For the Term of His Natural Life. He had reoccurring roles in Gavilan and on Empire, and also narrated the 2000 documentary Ian Fleming, 007's Creator. Remembering Zsa Zsa Gabor, born February 6, 1917, and passed away December 18, 2016. She was a Hungarian-born American socialite and actress who acted in supporting roles in movies, on Broadway, and occasionally on TV. She began her stage career in Vienna and was crowned Miss Hungary in 1936. She immigrated to the United States in 1941 and became a sought-after actress with European flair and style, with a personality that exuded charm and grace. Her first movie role was as a supporting actress in Lovely to Look At. She later acted in We're Not Married and played one of her leading roles in Moulin Rouge. Besides her movie and TV appearances, she is best known for having nine husbands, including hotel magnate Conrad Hilton and actor George Sanders. Some of the TV shows she was in were Bonanza, Batman, and Gilligan's Island. Remembering Rip Torn, born February 6, 1931, and passed away July 9, 2019. Elmore Rule Torn Jr. was an American actor and voice actor, and had a career that spanned over 60 years. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his part as Marsh Turner in Cross Creek. His work includes the role of Artie, the producer on The Larry Sanders Show, for which he was nominated for six Emmy Awards, winning in 1996. He also won an American Comedy Award for Funniest Supporting Male in a Series and two Cable Ace Awards for his work on the show. In 1997, he appeared in the Disney movie Hercules, in which he voiced the god Zeus. He played MIB agency boss Zed in the 1997 movie Men in Black, and in the 2002 sequel Men in Black 2. He played James Brody in Freddy Got Fingered, <laughs> And in 2004, he played the iconic wrench-tossing coach Patches O'Houlihan in Dodgeball, A True Underdog Story. <music> Happy Birthday, Mike Farrell, born February 6, 1939. Michael Joseph Farrell is an American actor best known for his role as Captain B.J. Honeycutt, on the TV series MASH. He was a producer on Patch Adams and is starred on the TV series Providence. He appeared as Milton Lang on Desperate Housewives and was seen in the 10th season episode 
persona of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. He played Fred Jones in the season 8 episode Hunter I Heroic Eye of Supernatural. During the 1960s, he guest starred in a few series such as The Monkees, I Dream of Jeannie, Combat, Days of Our Lives, The Interns, The Man and the City, The Quester Tapes, Banachek, Marcus Welby, M.D., The New Land, Murder, She Wrote, Justice League, and played Jonathan Kent in the Superman animated series. He also had a cameo role in the 1967 classic, The Graduate. Happy birthday, Robert Townsend, born February 6, 1957. He is an American actor, director, comedian, and writer who may be best known for directing the films Hollywood Shuffle, Eddie Murphy Raw, The Meteor Man, The Five Heartbeats, and various other movies and stand-up specials. He is also known as Robert Peterson on The Parenthood, a series which he created and directed some episodes. He is also known for his production company, Townsend Entertainment, which he produced the movies Playing for Love, In the Hive, and more. Remembering Walker Edmonston, born February 6, 1925, and passed away February 15, 2007. Although his credits include appearances on numerous classic TV shows, he is best known for his work as a voice actor and lent his voice to at least five episodes of Star Trek. Early in his career, he worked as host, voice actor, and puppeteer for various children's programs. He even hosted his own kids' show, The Walker Edmonston Show, during the 1950s and early 1960s. He went on to work on several children's programs developed by Sid and Marty Croft, including H.R. Puff and Stuff, on which he voiced Freddy the Talking Gold Flute, and he was on Land of the Lost, on which he played Enoch, who originally appeared in an episode written by Walter Koenig. In his original script, Koenig spelled it E-N-E-G to honor Gene Roddenberry, because E-N-E-G is Gene spelled backwards. <laughs> the makeup for his character and all the others was done by Michael Westmore, the dinosaurs were built by Wa Chang. Other Croft productions on which he worked included Sigmund and the Sea Monsters and the Boogaloos. In 1962, he released a novelty song entitled I Dreamt I Saw Khrushchev in a pink Cadillac, in which he sang both the voice of Barky, the dog from his show, and the voice of the Soviet leader. Some of the other characters he is known for voicing include Inferno on The Transformers and Ernie, the head Keebler elf in commercials for Keebler cookies. He lent his voice to such cartoons as The Flintstones, The Smurfs, Disney's The Gummy Bears, Jim, and various Spider-Man shows. His voice was also heard in various episodes of The Waltons, as well as such films as The Green Beret, Bullet, The Andromeda Strain, The Great Mouse Detective, Fat Man and Little Boy, and Dick Tracy. As an actor, he made frequent appearances on such classic TV shows as The Big Valley, where in one episode, entitled 40 Rifles, he coincidentally played a character named Spock. He was also in The Wild Wild West, Gunsmoke, Mission Impossible, Barnaby Jones, Little House on a Prairie, Maverick, Green Acres, Get Smart, Batman, Mannix, Bonanza, The Bob Newhart Show, Fantasy Island, Dallas, Quincy M.E., The Dukes of Hazard, and Knott's Landing. 
He also voiced the character of Nice Guy Tom Riley and several other characters on the long-running radio series Adventures in Odyssey. He had been with that show since his first episode in 1987. His work on the program came to a sad end, however, when he died of complications from cancer at the age of 82. Happy birthday, Alice Eve. Born February 6, 1982. Alice Sophia Eve is the actress who played an alternate Carol Marcus in 2013's Star Trek Into Darkness. Although the character was a civilian scientist in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, the version played by Eve is a Lieutenant Science Division Starfleet officer serving aboard the USS Enterprise. She also recorded the audiobook of the film. The 2013 virtual collectible card battle game Star Trek Rivals is using a picture of her for card number 83, Dr. C. Marcus. Born in London, England, she made her screen acting debut in the BBC's biographical movie Hawking, in which Benedict Cumberbatch starred as Stephen Hawking. She and Cumberbatch later worked together in the 2006 comedy Starter for Ten, before reuniting for the Star Trek Into Darkness, in which Cumberbatch played Khan. In 2006 Big Nothing, she co-starred opposite Simon Pegg, whom she also reunited on Star Trek Into Darkness. Her first American-made film was the 2009 Crossing Over. The following year, she was seen in She's Out of My League and Sex in the City 2. In 2011, she was on the HBO series Entourage in the reoccurring role of Sophia. And in 2012, she was in The Raven and appeared as a young Agent O in Men in Black 3. After the release of Star Trek Into Darkness, Eve and Chris Pine appeared in the video for Paul McCartney's single, Queenie Eye. Further credits include Decoding Annie Parker, Some Velvet Morning, Cold Comes the Night, Before We Go, and Dirty Weekend. <laughs> she also produced the 2013 Death of a Farmer. She had a small cameo role in the 2014 Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, and Completed Criminal. Remembering Cecily Adams, born February 6, 1958, and passed away March 3, 2004. She is an actress and casting director, best known to Star Trek fans, for her portrayal of Ishka on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And although she played Armin Shimmerman and Max Grodnick's mother on this series, she was nine and six years their junior, respectively. She was the daughter of Get Smart star Don Adams. Adams was married to Star Trek Enterprise guest actor Jim Beaver. She worked with him on a number of film and stage productions prior to their marriage in 1989. She later co-starred with her husband in a 1996 episode of Murder One. Her other TV work includes guest appearances on Simon and Simon, Quincy, The Equalizer, Courthouse, and the final episode of Total Recall 2070. She was primarily a casting director. She served in this capacity for Third Rock from the Sun and That 70s Show as well as such movies as The Forgotten One and Home Room. She also served as a casting assistant on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. She died of lung cancer in 2004 at the age of 46, and her father passed away the following year. Remembering Robert Firo 
Born February 6, 1945, and passed away February 27, 2011. Robert Clyde Fero Jr. was an actor known for THX 1138, The Bionic Woman, and he played Bora in the Battlestar Galactica episodes Baltar's Escape and The Man with Nine Lives. Remembering Brian O'Bairn, born February 6, 1931, and passed away December 4, 2009. He was an American film and TV actor and acting coach. His credits include numerous TV shows, movies, and many TV commercials. He has served in the United States Army before becoming an elementary school teacher. He later moved to New York City to pursue acting. He was particularly active within the TV industry during the 1960s and 1970s. In 1962, he played Ned Carlin on The Virginian in the episode The Accomplice. He appeared in six episodes of Get Smart as Hodgkins, the assistant to the chief. He played Robin's high school principal in the 1960s Batman TV series, and he regularly appeared as a mortician in The Munsters, as well as the series Occasional Wife, in which he played the man in the middle, and as Mr. Beasley, the mailman in Blondie. He made guest appearance on Perry Mason in 1965 as a murder victim Horace Lehigh in the case of the baffling bug. His other many TV credits include guest appearances on Alfred Hitchcock Presents, My Three Sons, The Kara Williams Show, Murder She Wrote, The Bob Newhart Show, Happy Days, The Bill Cosby Show, The Partridge Family, Sanford and Son, and Gunsmoke. His film credits include Spaceballs, Gunfight in Albaline, Marine, The Shakiest Gun in the West, The Million Dollar Duck, Gus, Love at First Bite, The Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again, and Zapped. Happy Birthday, Megan Gallagher, born February 6th, 1960. After making a screen debut in George Washington, she graduated to recurring roles in Hill Street Blues, China Beach, and starring roles in The Slap Maxwell Story, The Larry Sanders Show, and Millennium. She was in Star Trek Deep Space Nine as Muriel in the episode Invasive Procedures, and Nurse Garland in the episode Little Green Men. She also played Jiren in the Star Trek Voyager episode Body and Soul. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.